Hello and welcome to A2 Chemistry and today we're going to be covering AQA Topic 6 in Unit 4, Aromatic Chemistry. So this is the topic on benzene. Now, there is a bit of knowledge to this topic and there are some mechanisms. I'm going to go through both in this video. This is how you will show, this is how you can show benzene. Okay. The molecular formula, C6, H6. It is planar, so it's in one plane, and it has bond angles, is 120 degrees. Just underlined three key bits of information. Now, there's a distinction between this and something called cyclohex 135 triene. And how do we know it's not this, which you've probably been told about, is because the bonds, the CC bonds, are all equal in length. Okay? And you should also know that its enthalpy change is less than cyclohex 135 triene. Okay, this is because this is minus. 360 kilojoules per mole, and this is 209 kilojoules per mole. Now, what you also need to know is that this is that this, okay, the benzene, benzene is more stable. So it is very stable due to the delocalized electrons. Delocalized electrons are denoted by this circle, okay? Now for the mechanisms. It undergoes electrophilic substitution. Now, firstly, I'm going to talk about the nitration of benzene. Okay, so nitration of benzene. To make, you have two electrophiles that you need to know. These two electrophiles are NO2 plus and RCO plus. Okay? Now, to make NO2, you need conch, so concentrated sulfuric acid, and concentrated again nitric acid. Okay? Oh. Now, with this, you can form this equation. And you do need to know this equation. So you may as well learn it. H2O plus H SO4 minus plus NO2 plus. Okay. Now, your mechanism. Here you have this. And you have your NO2 plus from there to the nitrogen. And it's a double headed arrow which then goes to your intermediate of this. Now this can only go to five carbons. Okay, this line, this horseshoe line, 
can only cover five carbons. Now you also do the like this line here, another curly arrow in like that, and then you always draw your final. Okay, and you do the same, okay, for your RCO, and obviously this bind this bond is formed to the carbon, okay. And to form this, okay, what you need is a AlCl3 plus, and then this will have this, okay. So you have your R group. This can be anything, and then you'll recognize it. This is the acyl chloride, and this goes to RCO plus, and then plus AlCl4 minus. And just a note, you can do AlCl4 minus plus H plus to go to AlCl3 plus HCl. And then obviously you'll realise that this is therefore a catalyst. And the mechanism follows the exact same stages as the one up here. And this is basically what you need to know.